So we're getting off the ship today in the lovely island of Bermuda. Except they're holding Janet up. They're not going to let her get off. There's a giant chicken out here. And another pirate. And these guys. Watch your step. <laughs> okay. Don't make me do your job. It's very crowded here. It took us about 15 minutes to get off, standing in line. But now we made it. So we're traveling on the Norwegian Gem. And there she is. And these are mostly people going on tours. They're standing around in groups. And here's the tour director of some of the tours. We're going to take a walk over to the beach. And so we are in the Royal Naval Dockyard Shopping, Dining, and Entertainment where culture, history, and adventure await you. Here's a picture. So I think we're trying to get over to here somewhere. Of course, we're here now. We're going to walk on down this way a little ways. Maybe cross over to the sidewalk. Scooter rental. Not sure how much. Pedal bike rentals. Our ship. I see Diamonds International down there. Map of the whole place. came from the fun zone down that road and then down this road. Um, this is the Bermuda Transport Museum. I don't know how much it is to get in. And then this says Clock Tower Hall. Those are the clock towers, I suppose. Let me raise that up so you can see. The Clock Tower Mall is right down there. We decided to walk up this street. Ship's over there. The problem with this street here is there are no sidewalks. I mean, there's sidewalk and then no sidewalk and then sidewalk, I guess. So it's a little scary. But look at that place. We've come further up this road. Like I say, there's sidewalks and then there isn't. We came to this part, place, which is the Westgate Correctional Facility. So, it's prison <laughs> or jail. And now, oh, now the sidewalks on that side. See the person? So we're going to cross over there. We're heading to a little beach I saw on the map. I don't know if we'll have access to it or not, but we're going to give it a try. We've been walking down the road right there. We turned in here to see if there was a beach with those rocks, and it's, you got to walk through bushes to get to it. I mean, it's pretty picturesque, but there's no beach there. It does say private residence. Us to something, we're not. But we're gonna continue on down. Do people live in these or not? They do look abandoned. This is Glass Beach, and it's the property of Wedco, and it remains open and accessible for the enjoyment of all residents and visitors. It's unlawful to take anything. We're gonna go down here. What was that? That buzzing. I thought a bumblebee was flying in my ear. So these stairs are very steep going down to this beach. And there's sand on the beach, but then rocks. So I don't know if you want to call that a sandy beach or not.
guess this is the beach glass. And there's a lot of it. Wow. I thought we found some in bone air. They don't want you to take that, and I wouldn't go out on this balcony either if I were you. Well, let's go on down. There's grass, there's even chairs, and a picnic table, sort of. Have you ever seen a plant like that? I see what they mean. It's, it's all glass. And bricks and tile. Wow. And look at this. Just a knot of ropes. Another layer of glass, another layer of glass, fish bones, more fish bones, but you see that's a beach completely covered with smooth glass beach glass. See that? That is, that is really something. I didn't know this place existed. super clear but it's the rocks are covered with some sort of silt or something 